Week 10, Post-Civil War. In this introduction video to the Week 10 materials, we're going to lay out our central theme and establish the heart of the argument, the heart of the challenge for this week, as well as discuss briefly our readings and assignments. Now, when the 13th Amendment was ratified, it said, let me pull this up, it said, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States. But again, slavery or involuntary servitude in the United States shall not exist except as a punishment for a crime whereof the party has been convicted. So servitude and slavery should not exist except as punishment for a crime. After the ratification of the 13th Amendment, as we've looked at this week, there were immediately challenges, racial challenges, between white and black America. Uh, we see those uh, continue in the aftermath of the Civil War throughout the period of time we refer to today as Reconstruction. As African Americans, these freed slaves are trying to establish a life for themselves, trying to find ways for education and business, um, tr trying to represent themselves and provide for their families, are constantly being met with discriminatory practices in terms of, of, of politics, in terms of voting, um, we see the creation of terrorist organizations such as the KKK. We see a massive rise in fear-mongering and threats of violence to African Americans, specifically in the terms of lynchings. We also see creative ways of working around the law to ensure that African Americans were forced to live in secondary citizen conditions. One of those ways was through, through the interpretation of the 13th Amendment in a way that allowed for Southern um, police officers and legal systems to arrest innocent African Americans or African Americans guilty of minor charges, convicting them of their crime and sending them to uh, involuntary labor camps. This was a trend that was extremely common. In fact, in the recently released documentary film called 13th, uh, which is available on Netflix, a video that I highly recommend to anyone who has an interest in these topics, um, right, we see this rise in involuntary servitude. African Americans being convicted of, of petty crimes and being forced to labor in difficult situations uh, in mine, mines or in fields uh, in these southern communities. It became imperative for many of these southern economies that they find free labor. The slaves are no longer able to do it, so they find the next best thing. Freed slaves who they can legally put back to work. Now, many of their crimes, again, they were either innocent or they were petty, small crimes, not worthy of the harsh, harsh working conditions and the length of the, uh, of the sentences they were given. They, many uh, of these um, men would, would die in their camps. And um, you will read plenty of, of that. This week, Douglas Blackman's um, articles from his book, Slavery by Another Name, uh, which provide the basis for parts of this documentary film, 13th, will give you more than you want to know um, about this convict leasing system, the way that it was racialized, uh, the way it decimated families and communities, and the way it helped white um, businessmen uh, uh, become wealthy. So this week we're looking at this new way of enforcing a new version of slavery uh, that existed well into the 20th century. All right, Group 6, your discussion board response is due by Wednesday. Group 7, this week is your week to lead the discussion. And of course, next week uh, you will be asked to submit your response by next Wednesday. 
class, as always, if you have questions about the materials or interested in doing additional readings, have uh, concerns about the assignments, please email me and let me know. Uh, let's make sure that we can get you to a place where you're no longer confused. All right, best of luck to you this week.